Ladies and gentlemen, it is time! I was told that my Discord server never heard of Helldivers 2, and being that I am unfamiliar with the lore or the gameplay as well, I was more exci than excited to look into the lore as I, Lord Nuxalore, likes to do. And right when I was about to try to look into the deep lore of this new video game, well, <laughs> my man Maxor, the epilepsy simulator himself, dropped his Helldivers 2 video, and this guy, this is... What the fuck is even going on right now? This guy knows how to turn anything into an absolute fever dream. So if your seatbelts are not buckled and your uh, freaking epilepsy medications were not taken, I suggest you turn back now. But otherwise, see what we got. This video contains uh, many certifiable thought crimes. Hell I Like capitalism! Oh yeah, spoilers. Universe 2 is an amazing co-op shooter that I, I did not actually watch this video. This is not pre-watched. I just know that the, the evil dark depths of every video game just ends up being capitalism, okay? I'm just saying. The play is exactly- <laughs> it was t <laughs> His editing was too spasmic for fucking YouTube. He had to- <laughs> <laughs> Helldivers 2 is an amazing co-op shooter that plays exactly like No Man's Sky. <laughs> Vaporizes cow with laser. So it's like Pokemon with extra steps. Except instead of exploring the cosmos, you uh, die horribly in the psalm. Every copy of Helldivers 2 is uh, it is personalized. Joel wanted me to fight- <laughs> What does that mean, personalized? By 10,000 fire ants. In a universe where humanity is beset on all sides by curious wildlife and the actual Terminators- Wildlife and Terminators? Don't tell me that's the lore for freaking Helldivers 2. Bro, Helldivers 2 is just wildlife versus Terminators? Yes. Super <laughs> Earth, the galaxy's last and only bastion of managed democracy. No! Sends its finest men, women, and children over seven. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not real, right? Please tell me that that's not actually the, the lore. That, that was a joke. That was a Maxorism, right? That's not the lore of Helldivers that they sent seven-year-old children out to... No, right? To liberate and spread freedom to the most horrifying hellscapes known to man. I feel like every... <laughs> Australia. Where war crimes are not only justified, but are necessary. We... Based. Base. Play as the Helldivers, humanity's finest in emancipation. Bro, why is it that every single one of these like wildlife creatures just looks like they would be smashes on Bow's freaking smasher past monster tier lists? And friendly fire incidents. <laughs> but uh, there's no need to worry about that last one because yeah. we are incredibly expendable. Hey, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the upside. That is the upside to being expendable. Friendly fire just becomes fire. All across the galaxy, Liberty's enemies march ever closer, but through the power of teamwork, friendship, and 500 kilogram bombs, yeah. we will fight Dude, every, every time, bro. For freedom, for democracy, and most importantly, for America. Because it's really funny. Dudes be like, Helldivers 2 is military propaganda. My brother in Christ. It worked. Triple the defense budget. <laughs> Uncle Sam. Hey, this Helldivers 2 is sponsored by Uncle Sam. Guys, if you join the military, not only do you make comrades in arms that you will keep for life, not only are the bonds you share and the traumas you overcome gonna change you and make you a better and stronger man than you were before, but you also get to play with guns! And Oopaville raises his hand in the back. I'm in. <laughs> is democracy actually part of this at all? Or is it just like... Why are they sending these troopers on foot to fight these giant schnordlesses? Okay, they, they have, they're dropping bombs from satellites. Well, why do they put these poor guys on the ground? I don't understand. I, I fucking absolutely love the shit out of Max or montages every time. Dude, why do you have to make it all patriotic, please? They're just like high five and they're like, yeah. Yeah, brother. Mmm, the smell of gunpowder and freedom in the morning. Oh, yeah, I breathe freedom and shit eels, baby. Merka. Dude, what a, what an insanely wild fucking plot. 
I don't even understand why they do this. They take these four random guys, men and women and children over the age of seven. They drop them on random planets of, of fucking Terminators versus giant hentai monsters. And, and, and... <laughs> The first thing you'll notice upon entering the SES Judge of Judgment is That is not the name of the ship, right? It's the incredibly stupid name. And well, never, I, I guess that is the name of the ship. Yes, you are able to name it other things using the Wizard 101 naming scheme. Things like the Pride of Pride. Bro, there's no shot. <laughs> you can call it the Patriot of Patriotism? Dude, no. Star of the Stars. Patriot of patriotism. Oh my fucking god, I'm never gonna outlive the pre-watch allegations. Never ever gonna do it in my life. And my personal favorite, the founding father of family value. <laughs> because this game has a lot of violence and movies. <laughs> Here you see me depicted as the soy wojack. The no. second thing you'll notice upon entering the bridge is the ongoing galactic war. And yes, that we yes. are currently fucking losing the galactic war. That's not- well, yes, because you're taking people and sending them as ground troops on other planets when you have nuclear bombs, moron. Which is why we need to suit up with exactly three of our friends and choose which planet is in vital need of the democratic oh, process. Yes, the process. This is just the voting process. They're just they're just pruning the votes to vote more, uh, I don't know, whatever, whatever fucking political ideology you want to shove into this game. If you don't have any friends, then, uh, I hope you can speak good Mandarin. No. I think I did something to make him mad. But to win the Galactic War, we must first understand the Galactic War. We can ill afford another Malevolent Creek. Which is why I'm going to go over each of the two fronts that are currently reducing us to smears but, across the galaxy. Oh. And, uh, I'm going to do it at difficulty 7 or above. We okay, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Just watching this video is difficulty seven or above. It strains my eyes. After I watch a Max or a video, I need to just close my eyes and lean back. Which is coincidentally the perfect enlistment age. On the left-turn side of the political spectrum, we have the automaton front. Oh an enemy God. focusing on range tactics, heavy armor in slight excess, and an extremely high amount of explosive ordnance. Oh, I'm out of here, guys, later. <laughs> it's the worst flying away animation I've ever seen. If that sounds a little bit intimidating, then don't worry. I haven't even gotten to the horde of angry chainsaws yet. Oh my god, ain't no way. Chainsaw man reference goes in the video here, but... Yeah, dude, every time every time you see a chainsaw now, it's just like, oh my god, it's like the anime with, with the woman that wants you to bark. Talking about the automaton front is never complete without talking about... The fucking cr Mort! Bro, no! Talking about the automaton front is never complete without talking about... Mort! It's all connected! I knew it! I knew it was all connected! You thought I was a joke! You thought it was a... It was, it was a meme! But you didn't understand! The crimes of Mort! It's all connected, bro! Mort theory, ladies and gentlemen! Three hour long video and this is only part one! Bro, this is only part one of the 26 video playlists of the the, the crimes of Mort. Mort theory is never ending. I don't know what this reference is. I just I just saw that this was something that existed on YouTube and I thought it was funny. The fucking creek, or as it is known by our honored veterans, oh. Space Vietnam. Yeah. This goddamn planet has been single-handedly responsible for most of our casualties. No way. <laughs> most of their casualties from one planet. No. <laughs> my leg is this spongebob and that is genuinely impressive considering that uh 10 million men have already died in the battle of the madagascar lemur no it was more no we made the more reference i literally cannot pop i try so hard when i watch it max or videos to make references that i, I feel like are too out of the box even for for him and it'll never happen those are considered rookie numbers and we're already outpacing the taiping rebellion in fact, every single military operation we conduct is in a, some way related to Malevolon Creek. And personally, I don't really see what all the hype is about. After all, it's just one planet. How important could one planet possibly be? Yeah, just wipe it out, pull a Star Wars, kick its ass. I am a human supremacist! I am a human supremacist! Bro, they need to get Alex Jones on this bitch ASAP. Our supremacy will not end on this planet! We will go interdimensional. We will unlock the secrets of the universe. Hog. God has laid them out like Christmas presents for his children. Luke has got fucking weird recently. <laughs> Malevolon Creek and, by extension, 
the rest of the front is essentially an exercise in how much PTSD one man can possibly no. get. <laughs> this is a PTSD meter, and when you complete the PTSD meter, that's how you win the game, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't had PTSD, you haven't lived. Their firepower is so overwhelming, so absolutely constant, that describing it as an endless retreat where you accidentally accomplish all of your objectives would be very generous, as it implies that I do the objectives. That is fucking shit! This can occasionally push you in- How open world is this actual game? To what we call, um, unfortunate tactical positions. At which point, your main options for survival are going to be, uh, watching your slower friends get burned to death in the make- <laughs> Slower friends, bro. Here, here's a lesson that my dad taught me one day. If you're hiking in the woods with your friend and there is a uh, a bear that's chasing you, how fast do you need to run? The answer is faster than your friend. Boo! Real, real and true. Point. Your main options for survival are going to be uh, watching your slower friends get burned to death in the make off. Dude, I know that scream. <laughs> I know that scream. Was that bow? No, no. Of course they put bow on the tentacle monster planet. There's no way. Bow! I, I, unfortunately, Bao has screamed in way too many of my collabs. <laughs> no! <laughs> I will never unhear that scream. So yes, this planet may be what economists call a bad use of our human capital. But after dealing with several I days disagree. of what I can only describe as angry forklift decommissioning. Oh shit, this motherfucker's not OSHA certified. You really need a step ladder for that, sir. Okay, call me crazy, but I think there's a turret around this corner, guys. Knife. Bro, that is insane. You're just sitting there behind a rock minding your own business just blows the shit out of you. Fucking hate the creek. <laughs> I can safely say that the attachment has become fucking personal. And honestly, I just want to see how many bodies one planet can hold. We no. Is it really that just brutal, this game? Oh my god. We lost Vietnam, we lost Afghanistan, and yes, we definitely lost America. So goddammit, I am not going to lose this shit to ones and zeros. God gave this galaxy to a non-binary species, and service guarantees gender affirmation. Uh, fun facts about the bot front. Number 10, man urinates on fellow passenger. Dude, why are they all T-posing at all times? It's like every time you walk up to any character in this game, they're all just like asserting their dominance. Chester the chest over For here. not being allowed to smoke. Number nine, if you happen to make the mistake of fighting here, you're quickly going to realize that most of our forces are Chinese, each one taking glorious revenge against the steel plants they work in. Very auspicious behavior. <laughs> literally all T-posing the entire time. And conversely, ah, it's every single clip. He just did like three in a row by accident. Serious revenge against the steel plants they work in. Very auspicious behavior. And conversely, we Guilo have been sent by our barbarian prince to fight the hordes of angry roaches. For it is the God more God given right of the defense lobby to remind the bugs that it is man who was made in God's image. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you genocide that shit. Yes, for God. Dude, I love how like every every genocide or two, it's always in the name of God. It's like, bro, take some credit yourself. I don't know if God wants that one. Really can't wait to die on fucking uh, t legally distinct. Oh, Clendon. Clendathu. The terminated front. Sorry. The terminated population problem is a population problem what the fuck are you thanos why are you doing this wide assortment of increasingly horrifying demons each one abandoned by their creators in completely different ways uh, my my guy has got a bad case of the rigor mortis dude but what's wild is they're all they're all based off like regular Com kind of bugs. completely different ways uh, my my guy has got a bad case of the rigor mortis we thinking he just sinks got small bugs big bugs immortal bugs Ooh. bugs that function as artillery, Ooh. and of course, the bugs that stalk you at night. Oh, those looks like the one from uh, Asmongold's bedroom. Thankfully for us though, Napalm is an equal opportunity employer, and uh, a lot of positions are open right now. That is to say, once you start fighting the bugs, you do not stop for about 40 minutes or so. Oh my God, dude, it's just a 40 minute long wave just killing bugs? Bro, that sounds like Asmongold's average dinner because uh, they just spawned a battalion from the ground like the goddamn Viet Cong for the third time in a row. And I do not have enough raid for this yet.
Good fucking throw, dude. I, I just want to walk to the McDonald's, guys. I'm just a level one goblin. It's literally oh. my birthday. I'm a little birthday boy. Ah, and dude, do you want to know the immortal. worst part about this war? We uh don't really know how they move between planets. And I don't think they have what you would call a plan. Rather, the Terminid simply... Wait, 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 wait. I am very confused. They are traveling between planets? ...appear in places they wish to eviscerate. Kind of like a Whole Foods. So, uh, you can imagine my shock when I like learned that custom. those white bitches were trying to gentrify the moon. They are... No! <laughs> Why would you take it to that place? Why would you take it there? Ruining the amazing local culture of, uh... California. I hope it's becoming obvious that fighting these things under normal circumstances is what we call a same-day shipping to God. Ah! Shipping to God. That's, that's one way to get around the demonetization of saying suicide. What the fuck? Fortunately for us, though, we have access to a wide variety of unique and hilarious tools, right. which are only accessible by inputting a series of hand signs. In <laughs> yes, you just have to... <laughs> Yes, you simply just have to do the thousand years of death jutsu to kill the giant Eldritchian cockroaches. Formerly known as Airstrike Jutsu. Whether it's big airstrikes, yeah. bigger airstrikes, yeah. biggest airstrike the engine can sustain. See, this is exactly what I'm saying. Why are they taking these four dudes, dropping them on a planet, when they should just be using tactical nuke no jutsu every single time? Like, you do not need to be on the planet, bro. Or airstrikes that specialize in killing everything except the enemy. There are so many bad guys with so much damage to be done that the most challenging part is keeping your team out of the blast radius. I got 500 kilograms ready. What have you fucking done? They just drop bombs in their own. <laughs> they just dropped them. Oopsie. And yes, you do have to throw them, which means you can drop them, throw no! the wrong asset, and even attach them to enemies that are running into you. Oh my god, that's awful. Why? <laughs> we decided to make the game hyper realistic with the bombing. You know, sometimes you bomb them, sometimes you bomb yourself. My personal favorite combination is definitely the napalm and chlorine gas for when you really, really want your enemies to feel pain inside and out we also offer a gluten-free variety now of course air <laughs> this is just pokimane's cookies on crack air strikes aren't the only thing we can deliver just most of them because here at the defense department we take care to provide to to provide to provide the same day shipping baby why can't i say words a wide array of support tools and by support tools i mean the machine gun I mean everything in caleb's backyard you mean the entire Oompaville arsenal. Which are crucial and necessary for fighting, uh, <laughs> literally anything. We've got flamethrowers, jetpacks, automatic lasers that demand human sacrifice. <laughs> ah, no, they just zip blorgling through their people. Oh my lord. Average American police taser with- a Dude, I feel like every single person that plays this game that ends up just like constantly killing their teammates, it's like dungeon, 20 years, no trial, dungeon, holy shit. Limited ammo, automatic targeting, and a vendetta against teammates for when you- I love how this is just a simulator for like actual real life combat, except there's no fear of death. It's like, this is exactly what modern day combat would look like if there were no repercussions to anyone's actions and you had no fear of dying. Really hate everything in a general direction. Railguns that encourage you to fire volleys like Napoleonic line infantry. It also has two <laughs> fire modes called safe mode and unsafe mode. What the frick? Did he just blow his own head off with his own- oh, And of course, the, uh, giant death robots that randomly explode sometimes. What? Well, why would that happen? <laughs> why would they design it then? <laughs> Dude, this is what happens in a couple of years when the anime conventions get boring and people just start attending the Geneva conventions for their spare time instead. What the shit am I looking at right now? <laughs> what? That is the last time I buy a fucking Tesla. <laughs> My uh, personal favorite strategy involves everyone giving their mechs to the uh, designated disabled man who yes, will proceed to stay yes. inside of six... This is why you need a designated driver, ladies and gentlemen. ...different wheelchairs for 40 minutes. And as a caveat, we force him to crawl on the ground between mechs for immersion. Do they really take one? <laughs> they took one of their four characters. They made him role play a disabled man. Like, come on, man. Reasons. But honestly, all of these fantastic tools absolutely pale in comparison to the fast and convenient resupply 
of Gamer Sup's energy drinks, oh my here God, to give you a fantastic boost to your gaming oh abilities, God. which, if you want to win this battle, I will now expect of you. We in the Chinese are not going to be taking back Osto 2 on eight hours of sleep, but uh, unless you have a freaking energy drink, they did also release a sleep aid in case what? somebody gives you too much energy. <laughs> How am I getting away with this shit? Gamer Subs comes in many different flavors, such as Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. Bro, I, my sponsors make me read off the fucking brief. This guy's sponsors are like, all right, dude, say Gamer Fart 9000 in the sponsorship. Grandpa's Ashes and uh, good. It's a, it's just good. All at the low price of 40 cents per stratagem, which is literally cheaper than the dirt I am dying over. I uh, went to Amazon and checked. So if you are still watching this video somehow, and uh, God bless you if you are. <laughs> no, 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 his man looks like Nick Crompton. Man looks like freaking Nick Crompton from England is my city. You can have Gamersups delivered with 10% off by opening the description and clicking the special stratagem code. Ooh. What else do we have? Uh, uh, we have sentry guns in case you really don't want to play the game. Also, exactly looking like Oompaville's backyard. He has one of these in his hallway. As well as a strange amount of primaries that oh. are child safe. Can't wait for the devs to nerf this one and say some shit like, Sorry, Helldivers. Command sent us Rigatoni instead of Railgun Shells. Now, uh, in this kind of environment with this many- Dude, why do they keep sticking bombs on each other? Come on, man! Fireworks. Casualties are not just expected. They are required. Let's go! You, uh, don't really get to 12 million by being an easy game. True, true. That's the beauty of cat- The beauty of war, baby. Let's freaking go. Which is why, upon the occurrence of- my teammate's tragic passing. I will. <laughs> what a tragedy, he says as he blows up his team legs. Oh my god, he says in perfect Japanese. Gain the ability to replace my friends with a legally distinct Helldiver, ready to fight and die for the worst planets you have ever seen. Like my brother in Christ, you are fighting over the Arizona Ice Tea world. Missions oh. in this game are usually comprised of exploring new and fantastic worlds. Wow, that is so new and fantastic. God, I wish I was there right now. And then building a Walmart Supercenter on them. Yeah, America! That's what it's all about, baby. You got a uh, real estate. It's all about real estate. Real estate is the safest investment, which is why I genocided an entire species of giant mutant insect creatures that of relative sentience to put a Walmart there. Local residents be damned. To that end, we have a great diversity this of missions. This is just gentrification the game. What is this? What is this? Like geological surveys, rescuing civilians who move their heads like confused avians. <laughs> He's like a chicken. Spreading industrial amounts of carcinogenic gas and launching the fucking nuclear missile. We did it, Patrick. We saved Istanu, <laughs> along with a myriad of side objectives, which usually boil down to uh, killing everything that moves. <laughs> we have come up with a very nuanced and tactical solution to the problem. Kill everything that moves. And occasionally, loading a gun that will do it for you. We uh, don't really talk about the eradicate missions because they tend to play themselves. All in service to liberate a planet by an astounding 0.0003%. This isn't a fucking charity, all right? Reach 100. Oh God, that's insane. It's like it's just endless bloodshed. Holy shit! Percent liberation and lose all of it. The very next day, I am currently reporting to you from the fifth siege of Helldiver. Planets and Helldivers also have a unique blend of beautiful environments, like the Heaven Planet, where it is. Im <laughs> the macular degeneration planet. That's crazy. Possible to escape. God Direct surgery world, wow! That's light. The uh, constant meteor storm planet, where it is illegal to stand still. The uh, fire tornado planet. The uh, t weird fucking animal planet. <laughs> Actually wild. Bro, what the shit? I'm going to call you a uh, Genghis Shingles Bringer. And the planet that, before it was removed from the game, randomized your airstrikes, which made the process of calling a resupply much more interesting. Yes! Is it a resupply or is it an airstrike? One way to find out. Please put this back in the game. Look, Helldivers is a game that gives you a lot of tools and a lot of places to use them. Dude, it's, it's so awesome. It's just literally the PTSD generator. It's like, if this dis... <laughs> you just play this game enough and it'll desensitize the shit out of you. 
That's the plan. You will die in the most unfair and annoying ways possible, and it'll look beautiful while it happens. So honestly, the task of describing it all to you is, uh, not my fucking job. The developers are literally adding things faster than I can show them to you. I, uh, began making this video before mechs existed. So inevitably, when the day comes that Arrowhead adds the secret third faction that we don't legally know anything about, oh. I guess I'll be making a video about it. As long as this one gets views. Overall, Helldivers 2 is an absolute chaotic mess, where every mission begins and ends with the assumption that we are not going to make it. And yet, somehow, some way, I still find a way to disappoint my friends. Some may consider it difficult, while others may consider it fucking practice for being a hot-blooded American. Bullshit. But personally, surviving against all odds in the face of complete, absolute absurdity is a big reason that I still love this game. It's honestly, like, it's kind of hilarious that this exists. It's like, we're just gonna take all of the reasonability of the world and throw it out the window. It's like, intergalactic endless war, just infinite casualties, infinite deaths on both sides. Go, 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 go. And they just didn't give a shit about any, like, ethical, moral qualms, future shiz. No, endless war. No matter how many game-breaking bugs they introduce. Uh, Life's not fair. Uh, sorry, Helldivers. This gun's accuracy rating is so high that it causes integer overflow. And with the Galactic War still ongoing, our story of spreading managed democracy has only just begun. We have the ships. We have the weapons. Right. We need soldiers. Oh my soldiers God. like the uh, angry Chinese guy. Yes. Service guarantees affordable oh health care. They <laughs> definitely get your life insurance po policy before you actually join the Hell Divers. They'll keep fighting and they'll win. Yes. They'll probably die, but they'll win. As long as the bug front plays the game today. On a more personal note, the Ministry of Truth extends its gratitude to all of its very kind patrons, enabling and financing our propaganda on a truly galactic scale. Your money is being put to excellent use, making only the funniest and most original content. Anyways, uh, time to report to my execution now. Damn. Yo, what a crazy video. Oh my god. Dude, I love Max Or Reviews so much. He, guy cooks so freaking hard. Literally every single time. Bro. It's like, the infinite planet of this planet, everyone looks exactly like a character from the critically acclaimed TV show, Velma. Best of luck. Bro. <laughs> wow, this is wild, bro. I don't, I'm so happy. It's like, no politics, no cringe random messaging. None of, no, like, nothing that's not just balls to the walls, tentacles in orifices, fucking adventure, bro. And that's pretty awesome in just a really weird way. Democracy the game, baby. <laughs> Democracy the game, baby. Uh, it's just ethical genocide. I love it. Go, 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 Helldivers. Thanks for being here. Stay weird, man. If you made it to the end, click one of these two videos, which also will definitely get me canceled. See you live on Kink. Stay weird, fam.